Hey guys and gals, today's episode is the end all be all rocket stove and I'm going to be your host, the Homestead Prepper. If you saw the last video, which I'll leave a link to it, I've uh, pulled this out of the water and you can see it a little better and we were able to get 50 or 60 gallons of water to boiling temperatures with this thing just using wood, which I think is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, and guys, I, I'm a firm believer that uh, when the crap hits the fan and if you had to go through some long-term uh, grid-down scenario, that uh, a hot bath or a hot shower is going to be sought after. Also, not to mention the amount of hot water you could purify. Now, that is just barbecue paint. I think in the video it was just, it was not painted, it was just rust. But uh, I would, uh, if I was going to use it for a lot of hot water, I would... Um, I would definitely put an FDA powder coating on it, which I've got some somewhere, which I need to sandblast that and put that on there. Um, I call it the end-all, be-all rocket stove because it has the capability to heat up a lot of hot water, but also this uh, you can cook your food with it because you've got a cooking surface right there. And you can also use this as a tent heater or a small room heater because this thing in open air throws off a lot of heat. And those heat exchanger tubes, what is what has really made the difference? If you've noticed, this is my original experimental rocket stove. You know, if you take that little piece off right there, and I originally put that in the water, and I, I got it up to bath temperatures pretty quick, but it wouldn't get much hotter than that. So I added the heat exchanger tubes, and um, I put a, uh, a vent on it, and it, it drew a lot better. But uh, it was kind of, you know, smoky a little bit. So I added this uh, air intake tube right here, which is just a piece of cut down 6x6 six six, uh, tubing. And I wish I had left this, uh, this piece on here because it would give it a little, a little more weight. It has a tendency to want to float. And you can see this over here, how this is. And this is just a handle I will weld it on. And that way I can pick it up. And it is pretty darn heavy. Um, I know some people are going to say it's more efficient to use a conventional rocket stove to heat up a large amount of water. Well, guys, it's not more efficient because you're losing heat in the air, okay, when you uh, put a pot on there. This, you're immersing the heat source in the fluid you're trying to heat up. That, that's why your water heater elements are inside the tank and not underneath them, because it's more efficient. Now guys, I've come up with something a little more compact that uh, will work on this wash tub, which I think that's about 17 gallons. So I can get 15 or 17 gallons of boiling hot water out of that. That might be more useful for some people. But like I said, this was just an idea. I had a concept and I wanted to see if it would work and I've, I've taken it to another level. But this will give you all guys some ideas in case you want to build one. But uh, mainly you just have to do some leak proof wells. Now you can see that uh, this was done with a flux core welder and you get a lot of splatter from that but it doesn't leak okay so um, all right well I hope that was helpful to somebody um, if you have any questions um, I'll, I'll try to do the best answer for you but I, I must say guys this is not going to work unless you put a stack on there I think about six feet or whatever and I guess if you could do more it would probably work even better Okay, Homestead Prepper out. I uh, also wanted to mention that if you decide to go with an FDA powder coating, then it only can be used for as an immersion heater because if you uh, the powder coatings that I looked at for that were FDA approved were only good for like around 400 degrees. So if you were to put this in open air and try and cook with it or try and heat your tin up with it, then that coating is going to burn off. So. I just thought I'd mention that. So, uh, just for all around purposes, I guess the barbecue paint's going to work. Okay, just want to throw that in.